Look, I feel really bad about how I freaked you out before, so I called the father and asked him to meet you here so you could tell him. Go! What? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Baby, how do you even know who the father is? I may play the fool at times, but I'm a little more than just a pretty blonde girl with an ass that won't quit. <laughs> I believe this belongs to the father of your baby. Oh, God. Oh, he's in there right now? Uh-huh. Now you can turn around or you can go in there and rip the Band-Aid off. What do you want to do? Oh. Let's rip. Really? Are you sure? Oh, Phoebe. OK, sorry. Yeah. Hey, Rach. So what's this about? Rachel has something that she wants to tell you, and um, I believe that this is your red sweater. No. This is my red sweater. Oh, no. Could I get anyone a coffee? Or poison? No, just for me? OK. What's going on, Rach? Nothing. Phoebe kind of made a mistake. But you know, you do wear that sweater a lot. Are, are you involved in some kind of dare? You know, I'm actually glad Phoebe called. I know we broke up because you thought I wasn't mature enough, but I've really grown up, and I think we should get back together. Oh, it's just not the right time. It is the right time. Oh, OK. I'm ready for more. Tag. Come on, Rach. Let's give it another try. I'm having a baby. Oh. You can go. Thank you. I have a date tonight. It has to go well, OK? I'm scared for my health. OK, OK. okay. Um, oh, 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 I got something. OK, it's this story that I came up with very Romantic. I swear, any woman that hears it, they're like putty. Really? Well, then tell it to me. OK. Now, you're going to want to have sex with me when you hear it. But <laughs> you have to remember, it is just the story. I'll try to control myself. OK. <clears throat> Years ago, when I was backpacking across Western Europe. <laughs> you were backpacking across Western Europe? Have a nice six more months, Ross. <laughs> OK, OK. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, please, please. You, you were in Western Europe, and? I was just outside of Barcelona, hiking in the foothills of Mount Tibidabo. <laughs> I was at the end of this path, and I came to a clearing, and there was a lake, very secluded, and there were tall trees all around. It was dead silent, gorgeous. And across the lake, I saw a beautiful woman bathing herself. But she was crying. Why? Mmm. <laughs> mmm, this is great wine. It's from France. <laughs> In Europe. Western Europe. You know, um, a few years ago, uh, actually, I was backpacking across Western Europe. Really? Mm -hmm. Wait, it gets better. <laughs> um, yeah, I was in um, Barcelona. I studied for a year in Barcelona. Anyway, um, so I was, um, I was hiking. I love hiking. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I was hiking along the foothills of a uh, Mount Tibidabo. I think it's Tibidabo. OK, do you want to tell the story? <laughs> hey, Toby, have a good night. Did that guy just call you Toby? Yeah, he thinks that's my name. Well, why don't you correct him? Oh, it's been going on way too long now. <laughs> you know, I mean, the first time he said it, we were just passing each other in the hallway, so I didn't say anything. And then the next time he said, hey, Toby, you want a donut? And, I, I wanted a donut. <laughs> and now it's five years later, the donut's gone, and I'm still Toby. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? 
Remember the Russian satellite Sputnik? <laughs> well, I'm a potato or a spud, and these are my antenna. So Sputnik becomes <laughs> Spudnik. Sputnik. <laughs> Wow, I don't have the worst costume anymore. <laughs> hey, all right, Ross came as duty. No, I'm, I'm not duty. No, space duty. <laughs> and if you're looking for a place, I just heard in the elevator this morning that a woman in my building died. Oh, my God. Was she old? Does she have a view? <laughs> Well, I don't know, but how, how great would that be, huh? You living in my building? I could help take care of the baby. I could come over whenever I want, with your permission. Wow, that really would be great. Yeah. Well, can we see it? Oh, maybe we shouldn't. I mean, if she just died this morning, out of respect. Yeah, no. No, you're right. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Yes? Hi, I'm Ross Geller. I live in the building. And I'm Rachel, an admirer of the building. <laughs> I, I heard about Mrs. Verhoeven passing away, and I'm so sorry for your loss. She didn't pass away. What? My mother's still alive. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it looked like we were going to lose her this morning, but she's a tough old bird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you close with her? Of course. Uh, uh, yeah, she and I would talk all the time in, in the laundry room. You speak Dutch. Zer verheert een vriend van mijn moeder te ontmoeten. You know, I would, but it's just too painful. <laughs> so, she's really not dead? No. She's hanging in there. Mm. Do you think, could you tell me, is she hanging in in a, in a one bedroom or a two? Oh, you told your dad the truth about an hour ago. Want to go see a movie? Yes. Bye, Dad. Hey, I do, too, think about the consequences of my decisions. <laughs> well, what gives you the right to... Go to hell! <laughs> Stupid guy on my phone. <laughs> 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 